Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our Total War Warhammer 2 Let's Play as Marcus Wolfhart in the Hunter and the Beast DLC. This episode has been a bit of a strange one to record. Why, you might ask? Well, I've already played this session once before. I've already gone through everything we have set up and, uh, and I recorded an entire hour, but for some reason, no matter what I did, it would either fail while rendering, fail while processing, or just be broken one way or another. At one point, it just kept failing while rendering, and uh, there was nothing I could do. I spent hours, I think I spent three or four hours trying to figure out how to fix it. A waste of time, since we're now re-recording it anyway. So, I'll let you know how things went in that previous one in comparison to how things are going to go in this one. Uh, there were a couple of learning opportunities in that uh, previous recording, which I'll uh, allude to. I'll, I'll, I'll actually, I'll, I'll be f fully clear about. Uh, I believe in transparency, so I'll let you guys know what happened uh, in a prior or in an alternate timeline, I suppose. But it seems the curse of the 13th episode carries on. Not much to do this turn. Uh, we're going to hit the end turn button and allow... Uh, propylene to spring our trap over here that has been so nicely set up by Marcus Wolfhart. Uh, and then... Well, I'll, uh, I'll touch on some other things in a bit. Now, is there anything else I want to build? The, the funny thing is that, uh... I don't remember my exact moves or anything from the from the previous recording, so it's not like I'm going to be doing a one-to-one -one recreation. Let's go ahead and save a little bit of money first. Uh, one thing that I have to be wary of is uh, is this rebellion putting us under siege and actually canceling the recruitment over here. That's something that I need to be wary of, uh, and it certainly feels like something that will happen. It happened the last time. That's what I mean. I'm going to be transparent about uh, events that have transpired. We do not have two turns, I think, before these guys attack, but we have one turn, if I recall correctly. I don't think we have to recruit any units. We have a pretty solid uh, set of units, but losing these guys, if they attack again at the same time, losing this recruitment is going to uh, be painful. Let's put it that way. Anyway, let's hit the end turn button and uh, and let's see what happens over here. Let's see if Propylene uh, falls for this uh, for this trap. Uh, that's the turn, folks. Just want to mention really quickly, if you've been enjoying this series and you'd like to see it continue, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, and I can't remember if I mentioned this on the previous episode, so I'll mention it on this one. But if you've been really enjoying the things you've been seeing on this channel, uh, and you would like to support it in a slightly different way as well, uh, you can actually check out my Patreon. Link is in the description down below, as well as under the I at the top right corner of the screen. Uh, or you can join the channel as a member. There should be a join button right below the video. Uh, think of those like Twitch subscriptions and things like that. If you want to support the channel from a financial perspective, I don't often mention it, uh, but I feel like maybe once at the start of a new month is a good time to make it a habit. Many of you in our in the Discord have mentioned I need to get better at mentioning it. Um, and you're right, I do this full time now, it's a job, so I, I should <laughs> I should mention it more often. So, just something to consider. Uh, links in the description, of course, and of course the join button is the big, big I think, green button below the video. Maybe it's blue, maybe it's green, I can't remember. Alright, um, again, th this, this, this will be fine. I'm not too worried about this. Um... To the battlefield we go. Again. Empire. All right, folks, let's see. Here's what we're going to do again. Uh, we're going to deploy back over here with uh, our main army, and that will allow us to eliminate all of these uh, initial heavy-duty units over here. We're going to eliminate the uh, Pterodon Riders, get rid of the Croxagore, as well as the Feral Carnosaur right from the get-go, and if we're lucky, we'll actually be able to pin the Cold One Spear Riders in place as well, uh, so they'll be stuck in, and we can just kind of shoot at them and, and eliminate them nice and early. Of course, all of their skinks are over here, but by deploying on that far end, we prevent all of these Saurus Spears with and without shields from diving in at the same time as these heavy-duty units. So, go ahead and get that set up over here. Now, uh, I'll, again, full transparency, just want you guys to know, in the previous rendition, in my premonition of this battle, let's let's phrase it as such, in my premonition of this battle, uh, we actually lost the um, uh, Shafts of Sigmar, and it was quite unfortunate. We lost them because I was too busy capturing cinematic shots uh, that I, I uh, <laughs> missed something. Uh, I, I missed the... Well, they didn't die completely. One individual survived, but they it was deemed that they took enough losses to eliminate the unit completely. Uh, so, you know, hey, here's a... Here's a redo for that, I guess. I'm so... I'm, I'm, I'm a little annoyed. Uh, I apologize, actually, for the delay of this episode. This was supposed to release on, uh, Thursday. Uh, but, you know, I kind of missed the, 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 the window for that, so now it's releasing on Saturday instead. I apologize for that delay. But now you know why it happened. 
And if you were following me on Twitter, link for that's in the description as well, you'll, you would have known uh, sooner because you would have seen my tweet, <laughs> uh, my exasperated tweet. Go ahead and get you down over here. Let's get you over here. So here's what we want to try and do, right? We want to try and get Marcus using his uh, Hunter's Snare to freeze as many of these guys in place as possible. Uh, we want to get Kalara trying to get uh, the uh, Prey of Anathrema on whoever to freeze them as well. Uh, meanwhile, Yorick Grimm is going to use Ballistics Calibration to help a couple of units. Nah, we can do better than that. We can help all three of these units. We just kind of like stay over here maybe. Yeah. Do that. Pull you over a little bit. Cool. And then Kalara also has her... Um, has her... Where, where'd it go? Uh, sight Beyond Sight, the missile damage bump that she'll give a couple of these units. I just want to keep her apart so she can fire from the side there. Uh, but yeah, this should be pretty good. We should be able to eliminate all these guys relatively quickly. And then let's go ahead and get uh, all of our other units here. Back over here. Um, so my, uh, my, my, my plan is, I think, to push in with the two cavalry units to charge into their skinks, shut them down. I could actually play it a bit carefully. Um, so they don't get caught up in all these spears, because there are quite a few spears. So I could play it a bit more carefully. I could actually tuck them into the trees over here as well, or tuck them into the trees over here. Uh, allow the skinks to kind of start firing away at me and then move in for some charges. Mm, and then over here, I think we're good to kind of set up like this. And just fire away at whatever we want to fire away at. Stay in skirmish mode. Uh, keep a safe distance. Maybe the artillery can actually pull back to over here to fire away at some of these spears as they make their way towards us. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's get you back over here as well. Able to fire up that way. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. All good stuff. Cool. And again, the reason why I'm letting you guys know what happened in the previous battle that we lost a unit is because I feel like... I feel kind of gross that I'm re-recording this episode. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> I, I never liked the thought of doing that. Um, okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Hunter Snare goes down over here. Then we switch over to two pop ballistics calibration. Then we switch over to four and pop the prey of Anathrema wherever it needs to be popped. All right. All of our units are in position. No, they're not. Just because these two heroes are not my best heroes doesn't mean they should just sit back there and do nothing. Let's go ahead and get you over here to help shut down any large units that might come our way. And let's get you over here. You don't need to be in groups, though. I mean, we do have accusation, which isn't bad, uh, but uh, but but that's, that's not as pressing. All right, let's begin. Do this. Pop this. Come on, come on, come on. Pop that, pop that, pop that, pop that, pop that. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. Ravana Threma, back over there. Oh no, should have hit it over here. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Go ahead and focus over there. Focusing down over here, yep. Fire away. Get buddy over here. Oh, that's not good. Pull you back. Good work over here. That uh, Feral Carnosaur is dropping. Good stuff. Good stuff. Not too bad. You are firing up over there. Go ahead. Get you firing up over here. Let's go. Good work over here. Holding the line. Good stuff. Good stuff. We're fine. Let's go ahead and pull you guys back. Let's go ahead and get everything coming up this way. Let's go. How are you doing over here? Doing okay. You guys are firing up there now. Let's go ahead and get you pushing you this way. Let's go. Pull you back. Turn around. Fire this way. Okay, good stuff. Feeling okay over here. These guys are turning around firing this way. Let's do it. Pull Gottfried's messengers back. You're having a good time over here. Yeah, you don't really mind that. Go ahead and fire over here. How are we looking over here? Pull the cavalry back. Pull the cavalry back. Be back as well. Let's go. Oh, that's... Oh, the icon was there, but the unit was over here. Great. I love when that happens. Fire away over here. Get you moving up this way. Let's go. Get you moving up this way. Let's hold him in place. Are oh, we looking over here? Looking okay. You guys have come through. Let's pull you around the back. Uh, fire away over here. Feeling okay. Let's pull you away. Let's go. Pull you up that way. Then you up this way. Let's go. Those guys are falling apart. We're doing well over here. These guys not having the best time. Go ahead and get you out of there, buddy. Pop this over here. Get you out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Doing okay over here. Yeah, keep firing up there. Charge you down there. Let's go. Come on, get out of there, get out of there. Got all these crossbows over here. Help out. 
Good stuff. How's our cavalry doing? Get you out of there. Pulling away. We're doing fine over here. Move up. We can drop this. Help with melee attack reduction for the... Uh, the Saurus up there. If we can get up there. Come on. Get going. Keep you pushing through. Yep, excellent. Get you guys out of there. Feel like we've done well enough. Maybe get you out of there. Maybe let's get you out of there as well. Let's get you out over here. Turn you around. Fire up this way. Good. Their lord is dead. Ours are all good. Go ahead and pop this over here. They actually pop a focus shot somewhere as well. Not really worth it on these guys. Turn you around. Get you in there. Keep chasing that. Go ahead and pull you down over here. Good stuff. Get you down over here. They are spears, but we might be fine. Get all of you firing over here. Go. Pull you away, actually. Get out of there. Good stuff. Gunning, 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 gunning. Good stuff over here. These great swords are not having a good time. Pull you around. Get a rear charge over there. Do it. You guys giving up these great swords are having a tough time, but not the worst. Pull you up. Get in there. Helmet Discord will help a fair bit. Pull down that way. Ooh, Shafts of Sigmar. Hey, what are the chances these guys are uh, being killed again? <laughs> what are the chances? Dive in. Did okay, though. Did okay. Hail Tippers, you're fine. Let's pull you out from that rear charge. On the Discord, let's do it. I think it's all over. More or less. Both you through. Get you down over here. Get you up over here, maybe. Pull you out. That friendly fire is going to hurt a lot. Holy crap. Beautiful friendly fire. Get these great swords out of here. Keep you engaged over there. Fire up there. Let's get you firing over here. Let's get you firing over here as well. Go out of here. Oh, what a sight when all the, the shots come through. And we go over here. Knocking them back. Down you go. These spears are all that's left, I think. Pull you away. Get away from the artillery fire that's coming through. I need to hold your fire, damn it. Hold your fire. All right. Good stuff. Last Saurus, it looks like. Oh, no. There's the last Saurus. Finish him off. Come on. Oh. Oh, <laughs> wow. That worked out nicely. Decisive victory is ours. Wonderful. And the battle there. It looks like these guys survived this time. That's good. That's good. Yeah, feel pretty good about that battle. Lost 380-ish. Not too bad. Not too bad. The initial, I keep, the range on the uh, Hunter's Snare is so small. Uh, that's what kind of hurt us there, but no, it looks like we made it through. Not too much damage done to the garrison either. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take, I don't think, the, I, don't think I need the money as much as I'd like the replenishment. Go ahead and do that. Good stuff. Nice and easy. Spent multiple turns in ambush stance helps uh, mark us out with ambush success chance, which is completely useful for use. Completely useful, yes. 100% sarcasm there. Lothurn and Nagareth have confederated, which hurts my trade agreement, which is unfortunate. Up over here, Heshwatl is getting stronger. Critical failure for Scrot. Got a steel tech. Propylene is dead, and the children of the old ones have been destroyed. You guys are still raiding over here. And we've got an imminent rebellion in the northern great jungle down over here. Uh, hostility dissipates. That's great. This the road warden has arrived. A seed of rebirth for us. So this Itza rebellion is actually going to be at Ketza. Now I'm not too upset about this situation because uh, we've got some defenses. We might be able to hold it off. Uh, but I, I guess the bigger deal is I haven't really invested that much in the settlement. I can't slow it down or anything. We haven't invested all that much, so it's not the biggest loss. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Over here, meanwhile, we'll take, what, two turns to replenish to full strength? We can pull down to about here. Pull down to about here. Let's go all the way, right? Because then we can attack Taka next turn. Um, yeah, let's do that. And, okay, fair enough. So... This is similar to last time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back away from this army. I don't want it. I, I don't know if it'll be able to strike me. It's in forced march stance that it can reach this far. Uh, but just to play it safe, we're actually going to pull back ever so slightly. Let's see. 
You can reach up to there in Forest March. So let's go ahead and pull you back to here. The reason why I'm doing that is because I want to either set up an ambush of my own or uh, I want to attack them rather than give them a chance to ambush us. But we are uh, within their reach. That's with Force March, though. I doubt they can reach that far. I mean, to play it safe, I could pull back a little bit further. Sure, that works for me. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, now, Marcus, you've leveled up. Let's go ahead and get you a step of Mighty Forge, I think. That's what I was kind of planning on doing after we got uh, some of these upgrades done. Tempting to get Seasoned Marksman. Actually, you know what? Let's get Seasoned Marksman for one more step. I believe that was the plan. Look at that missile damage change, right? Let's go for that, and then we'll get the Mighty Forge. We'll look to get a Luminarch of Hish and stuff in here. Um, we have the Temple Huff Luminarch available. Over here, let's go ahead and get Sapper, and we'll get extra powder after that. Uh, Sapper just helps with speed. It'll be nice for our Free Company Militia, I think, uh, in this army. So that's all good. One turn will be pretty topped up. Slightly damaged Shaft of Sigmar. No. Pause for a chuckle there. Um, and then, uh, but, but otherwise we'll be fine. Over here, meanwhile, right. What's the quarry? So I'm pretty sure. I uh, can't remember. And it doesn't necessarily have general. to play out the same way. Pretty sure these guys are going to attack me uh, next turn. Is it time? Do I want to cancel these or do I just leave, leave it going? Let's leave it be. I'm going to try to change as little as possible between my, uh, in my decision making. Uh, over here at Martyr's Rest, I think we want to go ahead and get... See, what I could do is I could, at Martyr's Rest, get these roads going. Many of you have been saying for a while I should get these roads. They help with movement. Eventually, they help with income as well. Not a bad idea. Uh, I can't think of anything else I'd like to do over here. So let's go ahead with the roads. Uh, also, what I want to do is after we deal with this rebellion over here, again, we're keeping it alive so it can help our public order, but after we deal with this rebellion, we're going to go ahead and get the Pox Marsh, and I'm going to go and get Sahutek using... Uh, Max Coattail. That's the plan, at least. Uh, now, Martyr's Rest, do we want to bump up public order here a bit more as well? It's tempting. Uh, it is tempting. Maybe we upgrade Slanhua Peck instead. Uh, now, actually, I want to mention really quickly, I have seen your name suggestions. There was one for Slanhua Peck, there was one for Poxmarsh, there was one for The Awakening, there's some suggestions for Greatswords. I have them all set aside. This week is just a kind of crazy week for me, and on top of that, with the re-recording... Uh, I wasn't able to re-implement the name suggestions that I implemented. I will do that uh, for the session after this weekend. I apologize for the delay on that, but uh, do keep those name suggestions coming. Uh, like I always say, they, they, they bring, they breathe a different sort of life into these campaigns. Arnold von Schwarzen, Schwarz, Schwarzaner is going to move towards New Sterland again to fight the corruption here and to help with public order. So yes, that is where heretics lurk, Arnold. Arnold. Uh, what else? What else? We don't have that much money. Um, so let's leave it be for now. I think I'm happy with these upgrades over here. Get a better garrison to try and keep, uh... I want to try and maintain this line, right? As we're, as we're pushing southwards, I want to maintain this line. I want to make sure that if the rat surprises from Sahutek and come down to Slanhua Peck, we're able to defend it. Uh, Imminent Rebellion, that's, again, Ketza, so we can skip that notification. And that is the turn. Hopefully, Vomik, Vomik, Vomik will come up this way, and we'll be able to pull an ambush off or something, hopefully. Could even take them on in a regular battle, I suppose. But an ambush is nice and fun and thematic, so that's uh, that's always top of mind for me. A Flaxland, I wonder if... I'm trying to figure out if... Uh, if the Children of the Old Ones do eventually decide to attack Flaxland, I want to make sure it's defendable. Anyway, that's the turn, folks. Let's go ahead and hit that end turn button, and uh, let's see what the AI does over here. Yeah, there's that Rebellion popping. Fair enough. They'll probably attack right away. I don't see any reason for them not to. They don't have to muster any more units. Uh, it should be a pretty easy fight for them. Let's go ahead and see what else goes down over here. Nothing too crazy, I imagine. Dracula Coven has been destroyed. Blessed Dread haven't moved. Okay, there's Clan Pestilence. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Going to come north. So, uh, of course they went into ambush stance. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I can't remember if that's what they did last time, but... Not a problem, because I know what I'm going to do to respond to it. And, uh, if you guessed... Actually, you know what? Go ahead and put your guesses in the comments. <laughs> Alright, these guys... I, I love that these guys are just kind of... Kind of hold the coast. Yeah, there we go. 
have rolled on in. Fair enough. And hello. Okay, so it's the rats. Uh, we're going to dive on into the battlefield. The balance of power is right down the middle, but I don't really... It's not, it's not really accurate. Uh, it's not really the case, because with a, with, a, with, a, with a warlord in charge, we're going to take a lot of damage there. Uh, what I might want to do is use the crossbows to focus down on the slingers, prevent their range damage and range support from coming through, maybe shoot down some of the clan rats as well, uh, weaken the front lines before they're able to engage us, and then just, you know, battle of attrition against Cheery Flesh. There's no point focusing down Cheery Flesh um, with just a pair of crossbows, because quant quantity-wise we'll be overwhelmed. To the battlefield we go, let's see what we can do. It says roughly in their favor. I think it's a lot more like over here, if I'm completely honest, but maybe that's my own pessimism. Let's dive on in. All right, folks. So let's go ahead and... <laughs> let's see. They got spears on this side, swords on this side. Let's go ahead and do this kind of a layout. Because what I'm thinking is our spears have a much better melee defense. Than their melee, well, it's it's much better melee defense than their melee attack. So hopefully those clan rats aren't going to cause too much damage as they move towards us. And our swordsmen have a much better melee attack than their melee defense on the spears. So yeah, okay, we should be fine. Just double checking. Just have to verify it for myself to make sure I wasn't missing something. Like a lunatic. All right, get you all set up. You're good. You're good. Again, we're going to fire away. Uh, maybe we fire away at the uh, clan rats first. Well, Slingers first, and then the Clan Rats. Or maybe Clan Rats first, and then the Slingers after lines meet. That would be the best idea. So let's go ahead and face you off like this. And let's begin. Mm, we'll see what we can do. We'll see if we can hold this. If I recall correctly, and again, it feels like it was... A, well, it was literally like... A quarter of a day ago that I recorded this. I believe I lost this last time I played it. I think it was... A, yeah, I guess it was a Skaven then as well. Getting old. Trying to forget things. I'll fire away over here, please. They're nicely clumped up. Sure, why not lose some stray shots back there instead? As long as you're targeting the right unit. Alright, gonna cause some damage over here. Hey, get the clan rats. Oh, there's no rotation or anything involved. Just get a couple shots in here. A couple volleys. There we go. That's a proper volley. Oh yeah, look at that damage. One more, one more, one more. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Oh yeah, beautiful. Did we get another? I don't think we will. Fire up there for a couple shots. Ooh, they've pulled back. All right. Okay, I like that. Lines have met. These guys are... What are you trying? What are you trying? Yes, trying to be clever here. We're firing back over there a couple shots. Okay. Maybe it's time for the uh, slingers to be focused down on... Oh, look at that. We've, we're almost done there. Go ahead and fire over here. Okay, holding the line here, holding the line over here, kind of, sort of. Go ahead and focus on these slingers. Get rid of them, please. I'm trying to hold the line over here. Okay, good bit of firing done. Yep, yeah, decent bit of damage being done over here. Stuff, a little worried about the front line. The moment, of, the moment they break through, we're in trouble. These guys should give up any second now. Let's go ahead and fire up over there. There we go, good stuff, excellent timing. And fire up there, then we can fire down over here again. Come on, hang in there, hang in there. It's just a bunch of spears. A bunch of rats carrying spears. Okay, fire away. A couple more volleys up here. We'll do the trick. There we go. A bit of damage, I hope. Okay, bit of damage. We can do better than that. I don't over here holding on. Just barely holding on. Okay, firing away. This should do... Will this finish them off? No, still not enough damage. My god, we're barely hanging on there. Come on now. Okay, that was a good volley. That was a good volley. A wavering now. Close to giving up. Hopefully we can turn around. Yes, excellent. Try to focus on these clan rats. Try to scare them off. We have the spears on that right side. Come on. There we go. Fire away. Good, nice high arcs. And the morale damage from range fire should just tip them over. These guys are back in it. One more volley here will help here, and then we can turn around and fire. Come on, come on, come on, give up on the fight. You're wavering, but just surrender. Drop your flags, damn it. Okay, good stuff. Get a volley over there, perhaps, before we fire up there. One volley, one volley. One good, clean volley. Sure. Turn up there. Good work. Oh, yeah, real good work. 
Real good work. They're wavering. Go ahead and fire up there. Less rotation. Scare them off with one volley. These guys have been scared off. Excellent. And perhaps turn around and fire over here. These guys are done for. Get a fire up there. Pull you around. Get a rear charge, maybe. We can do over here. Turning and firing. You're firing down over here. Yes, excellent. Get you in with a rear charge. These guys are almost done. These guys are coming back over there. That's okay. These guys are almost done as well. Come on, come on, come on. So close. So close. These guys are close as well. Wavering. There it is. There it is. Okay, fire up there. I wonder if we should pull up there. Get a rear charge over there. All right, we're going to turn around and fire over here. Those swords have held, surprisingly. All right, good bit of work over here. Hoping the spear is coming on the rear charge. We'll do the trick. Get you guys... Mmm. Round fire over here. Good work over here overall. But I feel like Cheery Flesh is going to win the battle ultimately. Hey, fire away. Blow their roll. Here they come. Go ahead and get a rear charge. Oh, not necessary. Oh, we got a shatter over here. Route over there. Turn around. Pull you up this way. Let's go. One more volley over here. Should finish this off. Get you in there. Yeah, let's get you firing up over here next. Good stuff. You're still firing back there. Oh god, they're gonna come through. Get this volley in. No! <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can't survive that melee. Firing back there. Charge these guys. Let's go. Okay, these guys look like they're about to give up. Wow! No way. Alright, good volley over there. That should do a fair bit of damage. A little bit of damage being done here. Not the best, not the worst. Holding this in place. Come on. Pull away and fire at these guys. I was hoping the melee would end quicker. That melee's about to end. We're doing okay over here. Spears against clan rats. Clan, these spears are coming back. Oh no, we've given up. That's not good. Pull you back. Give up. We need to get them to surrender. I'm gonna fire down there. No, 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 don't lose this now, don't lose this now. Keep pulling you back. Come on, turn around and fire, turn around and fire. What are you... Come on, fire! There we go. Fire over here. Alright, these guys are gonna give up. Any second now, any second now. There it is. Turn around and fire over here. Need you to rally your back, good stuff, get back in here. Almost out of ammo on some of these units. Alright, some good hits over here. These guys are wavering. They'll probably give up soon. They're coming back. Excellent. Nope, turn you around. Fire this way. Or actually, we fire over here. These guys are rallying as well. Get you up over here. I can't believe it. We might actually... We might actually win this. Pull you back. Get you in here. Fire over here. A little range damage can go a long way right now. Can also completely eliminate our unit, but looks like we're about to give up anyway. Fire, come on. Loose, 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 loose. Make him give up. Make him surrender. Fire, damn it. Oh, he's about to get surrounded. Firing up over there. we firing up over here. Scare those guys off again. Go for the army losses over here. In come the shots. Drop these rats, come on. Good stuff, good stuff. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You smell failure. Good, good. That's the musk of fear. No, 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 not my musk of fear. No, god damn it. Pull you back this way. Let's go. Get out of there. Firing, keep firing. Get these guys off. We need to rally again. Okay, keep pulling back. Okay, good stuff. We got another shatter there. Focus over here instead. You gotta turn around. Focus over here. Let's go. Oh my god, we might win this. Oh god, pull back. Get out of there. Get out of there. Warriors are rallying. Excellent. Pulling you back. How are we doing? How are we doing? These guys are shattered. These guys might come back. 
Okay, good volley over here, hopefully. A little bit of damage done. Oh, another rally. Excellent. Pull you back as well. Pull you back up this way. Another volley coming through. Good stuff. Keep pulling back, keep pulling back. Go, let's go, let's go. Only I could, like, topple him over somehow or something. You've used all your ammunition. Let's get you in here. Oh, this isn't good. These guys are back. We'll be able to finish them off pretty easily, I think. God damn, that one person. That poor unfortunate soul. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, get that volley in. A little bit of damage done. Pull back. And we go with the charges. Okay, fire. Hopefully we'll hold on over here. Looks like we are managing. We get the shots in over here. Oh, morale is dropping. Couple shots going in there. Oh, we lost it. Are you kidding? Okay, it's okay. Turn around and fire there. Break that unit. Gods haven't abandoned you, damn it. You're abandoning me. All right, we're out of ammunition. Good, got them to shatter. You're the only thing left here, buddy. And we go with the rear charge. You're fully surrounded. We're so close. We're so close. That difficulty modifier right now is killing me. Hang in there, hang in there. Leadership's at 13. Oh, go figure. How poetic. Come on, come on. You're fully surrounded. You are, yep, fully surrounded. There we go. Ah, damn it. Fluctuating morale. Because all we can do is sit and watch. No crazy moves we can pull. No, damn it. Don't withdraw. Come on, we've got this. Get in there. Get in there. All sides. Full surround. Bunch of crossbowmen against a literal rat warlord. Chip away. Come on. Stomp his tail. Slice at his throat. Nah, he's got this. To think if I got a couple of couple of volleys in on him earlier, this might have gone very differently. Come on. Yeah, no, he's hanging in there. He doesn't care anymore. Now that we've got rid of all of, now that he's got rid of all of our swords and spears and everything, he does he doesn't care. Oh well. We put up a good fight. We put up a good fight. Winning current combat is helping him a fair bit. Trying to figure out what I could do to tip this in my favor. I mean I, I could try and send one of these units behind him. Right. Technically get a surround on him. So close. Yet so far. Ah, god damn it, there it goes. That's it, that's the battle. There's no coming around from that. There's no coming back from that. Fair enough. I think we can just speed time up at this point. Come on, give me a proper engagement here. Yeah, I think we can just speed time up at this point. Damn it. Well, we certainly put up a fight. A valiant defeat. I mean, hey. I thought we were going to lose this anyway, so... I'm glad at least we put up a fight. Damn, we could have... We could... We could have won it. We could have won it. Literally, like, two volleys on Cheery Flesh right at the beginning. Had I not decided against that, might have made all the difference in the world. But at the same time, those two volleys helped us win the frontline engagements faster, right? So, you never know. You can always do your what ifs, ands, and buts, but it is what it is. That's the rebellion done, faction destroyed. I guess we lost a claim? This was lit up, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Wow, huh. Element raised. This one's besieged. Ambusher discovered. Oh, that's good. Um, public order bumps for Max Coattail. Good, good, good. Yeah, see? Got cancelled. Now, we could sally forth. The uh, garrison here is 
kind of pitiful, if I'm honest. Huntsman General. If we sally forth, I mean, let's just check what Huntsman they have, right? General. Oh, it's kind of in our favor. Lots of cavalry, which is scary. We don't have that much. Oh, we've got a couple of spear units. Fair enough. I mean, you know what, actually? I'd be a fool to sally forth. Our walls and gates and towers will protect us uh, from, like, the uh, Vargals being able to dive right through our lines. Or for, from the, 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 the knights being able to dive right through our lines. So we are probably better off um, staying behind our walls, using those walls to fire down from with our hand gunners and whatnot, rather than sallying forth. Any last words? Yeah, cancel that. Decline the attack. Now, the unfortunate side is they're probably going to take forever over here uh, before they attack us. They're going to build their towers. Each tower takes two turns. They've got enough... Two, four, six, eight... They might wait four turns before they attack us. That'll slow us down a lot. That'll slow us down a lot. Now, the reason why I'm not so upset about losing that recruitment, I mean, I'm partly upset, but whatever, it's not the end of the world, uh, is because what we'll do is, uh, once we defeat this rebellion, we'll move up towards Pox Marsh, um, take Pox Marsh, and that will drain our army anyway of individuals, and so we'll be waiting there for a couple turns. We'll spend that time doing the recruitment, so I'm not really all that upset, uh... I went through a whole grieving process in my previous recording. Um, but yeah, so so we'll be doing that, and then we'll move down to Sahutek. So it's not the end of the world. Now down over here, Ambusher discovered. Not enough warpstone. Could just move in and attack you. Agreed. Agreed, says Marcus. A decent spot to do that. Now it looks like they're headed towards Flaxland, aren't they? Might be able to pull off an ambush, actually. Of the Empire. Which would be fun. Get right up to the edge over here. Keep the replenishment happening for the few troops that need it. Pop up to here. And uh, ambush stance. Have some fun with the rats. Let's have some fun with them. Uh, and then we'll head down towards uh, Taka to, to take it. Rervito? Rervito? Might attack us as well? I don't know. Hmm, we'll see. We are in ambush stance over here. Kalara has leveled up. Let's go ahead and get you... Um, what? Hmm. Foe Seeker, I suppose. There's, you know, times where if she was a little bit faster, it'd be good. Sure, Foe Seeker. And, you know, the extra vigor is helpful as well. Why not? Sure. Now, we've got a fair bit of money now, so we can actually spend that on some upgrades. Uh, over here, we could start making our way towards Demigriff Knights and Demigriff, Knight Demigriff Knights with Halberds in a more central location. Perhaps not a terrible idea. Hmm... Or, hmm. Wondering if we want to build roads over here. Now, it's a little bit of a waste doing it in a major settlement. Let's go ahead and get these better walls going. Wow, that was expensive. Paved roads would help with Flaxland, Temple of Sigmar, and Snide's Head. Would it help us go... See, with the, um... With Martyr's Rest building the roads, and... If Flaxen built them as well, it would help us move coast to coast. That's an option to think about. Or we could just save money. Hmm. Or we could generate more money. You know what? Let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's go ahead and I think focus on the roads. Well, hold on. Let's see. We've got we've got you. We've already got our armory over here. I mean, is there any other military structure we want all the way up over here? We could save up a little bit, uh, get some hand gunners and, and 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 stuff coming out from here. Now, you guys were commenting in in the previous episodes that I should take a I should take a serious look at uh, the Hellstorm rocket batteries and things like that, um, rather than my war wagons, I suppose. Also, the Outriders with grenade launchers. Versus lizard mint, yeah, not a bad call. I mean, maybe we do save and do this upgrade instead. You know what? Let's go ahead and get this going. Five turns it'll take. Uh, next turn we can get this going. Three turns, and then we can get this going, and then we can recruit demigriff knights with halberds, uh, 
across this entire line over here, which will make it a lot easier to uh, reinforce and recruit some better troops, uh, some more anti-large capabilities and stuff like that a bit more easily. Is then at Flaxland, what else can we recruit? We've already got you topped up, so we've got great swords and huntsmen able to recruit over here. Uh, we've got... We'll have cavalry, and then we will leave this slot, I suppose, for artillery and stuff. And that way, the uh, creeping jungle will be a great spot for recruitment of armies. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So we've got an ambush set up over here. We are waiting for these guys to attack us over there. A little bit of money left over, but I think we are, in fact, yes, saving it. Martyr's Rest, you're safe enough-ish, I hope. Good things get hairy. All right. Call it a turn. Feels weird leaving so much money aside, but it's because we want to build this. We don't have a foundry here. Okay. Get you soon enough. I want to get up there anyways. We want to get some steam tanks and stuff. Sure. Sure. We are Sounds good. Let's end the turn there, see what the AI does, and uh, hope for the best. I kind of want them to attack the Awakening sooner rather than later. And I, I really want this ambush to be pulled off. I hope they'll get spotted. We shouldn't, it's a 100% success chance. Oh, I forgot about Arnold. That's okay, it's because I only already gave him a move order. And that's exactly what I needed him to do. Military alliance between the Order of Lore Masters and the Fortress of Dawn. I don't mind. See, we get along with the Order of Lore Masters. In fact, we trade with them and... We joined them in a war, so they shouldn't be a problem. High Elves should not be a problem for us, hopefully. Rervito, what are you going to do? you going to engage me? Nope. Look at Saka. And moment of truth. Moment of truth. Um, I mean, hell, this is a really easy fight. This is an extremely easy fight. I don't think it's worth fighting. Right? I mean, this this balance of power is so heavily in my favor. And many of you have already said in the comments that uh, if it's like this and we have no damaged units, then it's not worth fighting. So let's go ahead and auto-resolve this. Hey, I can't cack this up for us. Let's get Watch, this they're going to lose the Shafts of Sigmar for us. I don't know, let's auto resolve it. Fight with ho, 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 ho. Mm, they came close, didn't they? They definitely tried their best. Wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. The Arrows of Laura Lauren and the Eye of Toddbringer have done quite well. Butchers of Drakwald performing impressively. Butchering some alternate beastmen. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and uh, maintain our replenishment rate. Bring out the nooses. Yep, execute captives. The They're just rats. They're just rats. Gain the Shrieking Blade. Causes fear and terror. We'll see if we can give that to who, who gets into melee often. We'll see. I do need to assign these things more often. But that's good. So we eliminated that army. We should be able to move down south into, what was it, Chaka? was it called? That should be good. It'll up uh, hostility a little bit. But I guess I'd rather have hostility increase now than later. Smuggler or Rodrigue. Okay, fair enough. Electra pledges aid, extra money, and a crown of command. Very well. Going to be killed in battle. Good, good, good. Another... Oh, no, this is, of course, it's the same one. Okay, um... Yeah, we can hit Chaka right now. We are basically at full strength. I could stay put for a turn, but that seems unnecessary. I think we can... Like, let's see, what's the garrison over here? Oh, yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. This shouldn't be a problem. Okay, yeah, yeah. Huntsman General! Hmm... <laughs> No, no, don't sally forth. I was contemplating. I was like, maybe I should. No, that would be a foolish move. Let's go ahead and get you going. And over here, we could actually get... Ah, just, just short of being able to afford this. It's fine, not the end of the world. Good here. Roads are tempting. I mean, we'll have another slot open up. In fact, I could build the roads here. Plus 485, not that much. Mm. No, no, let's wait. Let's wait. Could spend a little bit of money. 
Got about a thousand I can spend. Upgrade over here. This probably belongs to some rats. I'm still annoyed about floating pyramid. In fact, you know what I should do? I should actually check on my hunters over here and see what uh, needs doing. So I'm really annoyed about Ertvig van Hal. No, nothing to do here. So we're not going to be able to complete all the stories. Uh, Yorick Grimm, what do you need from me? You need medicinal plants, marble, and exotic animals. Medicinal plants are available over here, right? Yep. Marble. Marble, marble, marble. Well, exotic animals are over here, so that's good. In the direction of our current war. I'm sure we'll find marble somewhere down over here. Let's not look north. I'm sure we'll find it eventually. Fair enough. Uh, then over here, Kalara requires what? The Emerald Pools. You get Isha's Blessing. The banks of Itza. So I, I, I would assume... Gotta get Itza. I mean, I'm gonna get Itza anyway. Uh, and then over here, Rodrik, what do you need next? Move any character to the Pox Marsh. Sure, that'll happen soon enough. All right, fair enough. Unassigned skill points. Wolf Hearts. Oh, Rodrik Langui. Uh, let's give you Heart to Hit. Yeah, bump up your melee defense. Make you a little bit stronger. And Van Hal. Maybe let's make you elusive. You were taking a bit of damage in that previous battle, weren't you? Well, silver bullets, and then we'll go with elusive. All right, move into Taka. Take it, bump up hostility a little bit. Not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Let's go. Oh, I can auto-resolve this. No, no, I can't. Yeah, and the reason why I, I hate that I'm doing this, I'm sorry, folks. But I can't because we're guaranteed going to lose these great swords and the shafts of Sigmar. Great swords, replaceable, sure. Named units, no. And again, I already lost these guys once. <laughs> um yeah, let's fight Lightning Strike for the extra, you know, morale effects and whatnot. But uh, yeah, to the battlefield. We'll make it a quick one. Don't have to draw it out or anything. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Yeah. Fight with clout, comrades. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Going to keep this one real simple. Form up over here. Um, We could get our steam tank up, firing way nice and early. Could do the same with the Tramplers of Claxlan. I'll get you up over here, fire away. They have some cavalry. You know what? Let's, uh... Play it safe with you. Move you off to the side over here. We've got some cavalry we can tuck in over here. We'll send them in afterwards. Get our front line. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and do... This. Because that way we can supplement this unit with... You guys. Beautiful. Then, back over here. Get all of our range units. Right? Firing away. Steam tank over here. Fire away, pull back into safety. Nothing too crazy. Marcus, let's get you up over here. Kalara, let's get you up over here. And Yorick, let's get you up over here. Well, actually, let's get you up over... Ah, uh, let's get you up over here. Sure. Sure, that's good. Good enough, good enough. Go ahead and get the artillery back over here. Gottfried's messengers. I wonder if actually... Yeah, sure. Help you guys out. And over here, what do we got left? You two. My my easily forgotten. <laughs> get you off to the side over here. Tapping off any large units that might make any attempts. And let's get Hurtvig. Yeah, sure. You can be over here as well. Use that accusation to good effect, hopefully. Alright, good stuff. Make sure you guys aren't pulling back. Make sure you guys aren't pulling back. Make sure you are. Okay, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Let's begin. Let's begin. Fire back there. Cavalry's looping around already. Ooh. Dropped one there, I think. Uh, let's, let's get out of here. <laughs> Yikes. We really got swarmed there. Fire away those Dark Riders, though. We'll finish them off pretty quickly. Wow, that, they melted away. Range should get ready on that side there. Fire over here. Steam tank, get you out of there. Buddy here. 
pop that, do this. They get shooting over here. Guys getting ready to come through, but we've done well enough. Go ahead and fire over there. Go ahead and pop this shot over here. Yeah, this is over. This is over. Did he get the shot off? I don't there it is. <laughs> oh my god! Almost got the kill there on the death hag. Put in the death and death hag, eh? Go ahead and fire over here. Sure, finish you off. Team tank doing okay. These uh, cowards not charge us. I guess they didn't. Alright, that's that. Quick battle, didn't expect too much of it. Wow. Melting away. Melting away. I mean, honestly, that uh, sure and true is definitely helping a lot as well. That extra missile, that, the slightest numbers, they add up so quickly. Especially with Kalara right next to them as well, right? With uh, sight beyond sight. Ridiculous. Beautiful. Decisive victory. Good, the city is ours. Oaken prodded the Lizardmen a little bit. Why not? Why not? Lost only one on this army. And it was Rurvato herself, I suppose. Oh, these are the two units that kind of circled around us. No big deal. They're dead anyway. They're in a settlement. They're dead. Lost zero on our end. Good stuff. That's that steam tank, though. <laughs> Got in trouble a little bit. Decisive victory. And we'll simply occupy. Now, many of you have been saying I should be sacking and raising more when I can't actually defend territory. There's no harm in sacking and raising. And I mean, fair point, but uh, we want the acclaim to bump up and want to have a better economy. I'd rather be in a position where I get a third army rather than struggle with just two. We haven't struggled in a while yet. So, simple occupation over here. Complete. Don't need that money that badly. So simply occupy. Hostility increased, of course. And I think, yeah, the Acclaim just pump, uh, bumped up as well. Because again, Settlement's Capture is what helps our Acclaim. Oh, I guess it fell down because we technically lost territory down over here at Ketza, right? And I guess Pox Marsh as well. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Hostility increased though. Mandate progressed. Yeah, fair enough. Wherever Toe has been killed. Did well enough over here. A couple of level ups it looks like. Marcus, let's go ahead and get you Mighty Forge. Helps the War Wagons, helps the Luminarch of Hish, and the Steam Tank. And I'm mainly focused on the Steam Tank and the Luminarch of Hish here. Uh, we also have some of these options. But what I'm more, I think, drawn in by... ...is some of this stuff. Sharpshooter, plus 12% missile damage for Free Company Militia and Huntsman. Oh my god. Reload time reduction. Yeah, 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 let's go for Mighty Forge, I think, is the way to go here. Hmm. Honest Steel isn't bad either. We do have some great swords in here. Mighty Forge. <laughs> and then we'll go for, uh... Go for uh, some of those high-tier uh, buffs. Uh, now, we're at a bit of a crossroads. Well, we will be when we get to here, if we're, you know, being literal. Do I go towards Kitax or do I go towards Ketza? Both obviously belong to Rats. That goes without saying, I think. I could send uh, my agents out to scout both of these locations to see what's going on. Um, or, well, actually, you know what? Ketza was raised, right? So it might not, uh, might not have been reclaimed just yet, maybe? That is an option, however, that'll drain our uh, units, of course. But what I could do instead, of course, is up over here, we Max Coattail. Takes care of this, hits up Poxmarsh, recruits, hits up Sahutek, pulls down to Slanhuapek, pulls down to Ketza, takes Ketza, takes Mouth of Carveza. Bit of a loop. We could also do this, but no, we should do that. We should take, take that. We could do that, that, use the river. Maybe. Or river, <laughs> use the river. Sorry, I was thinking Three Kingdoms there. Use the waters. Mm, that's an option. But we definitely want to eliminate Sahutek. Especially because we have most of the province. It'd be foolish to just leave it in this current state. When it's such an easy, uh... I imagine it's a pretty easy conquest. We can get rid of the corruption as well. Skaven corruption is on the rise here. Don't like that. Plus, we need to move up to Poxmarsh anyway. Ah, it's so tempting to sally forth. The men are keen. The men are keen, he says. The thing about Sallying Forth is we'd eliminate this army, we'd probably take more damage than we need to. 
But then again, granted, we are moving into Pox Marsh. Does the damage really matter? As long as we don't lose units, it doesn't really matter. So maybe we do sally forth. Now, let's let's quickly get this done over here first, though. Before I forget, I've got the money for it now. It's, um, expensive. What's the deal over here? Public order is on the rise. Corruption is on the drop. Untainted is on the rise. Good, good, good. Yeah, not sure. Maybe we will sally forth. Let me know what you guys think I should do in the comments, both in regards to uh, where uh, Marcus goes. I'm thinking maybe we move him down south and over towards Kitax, and then maybe he takes into takes takes over these mountains. Uh, whereas over here, Max Coattail does the little uh, loop I was mentioning. I just don't know if I should sally forth or not. Don't know if I should sally forth or not. Either way, folks. We're roughly at that hour mark, so this is where I'm going to call it a session. Hopefully this one has rendered and uploaded. Again, I apologize for the delay, um, but it is what it is, I suppose. A massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big ol' thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.